So what kind of African cichlids can you keep in a 55 gallon aquarium or a 40 gallon breeder? Stay tuned and learn more. Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope everyone is doing well. So I get a lot of questions from viewers uh, asking me about aquarium sizes for African cichlids, specifically Malawi cichlids, Mbuna, peacocks, etc. Um, and I get a lot of questions about 55 gallon aquariums, 40 gallon breeders, um, obviously 75s, etc. Um, but we've covered that already. And I thought I would talk a little bit today about 40s and 55s in particular because there seems to be a lot of the uh, viewers out there that have those. I think that 55 gallon aquariums are probably some of the most common out there and it's kind of the first larger aquarium that uh, fish keepers will get. And uh, when they want to get African cichlids, they want to know what they can put in them. So I'll talk a little bit about that today. So the first thing that I want to say is what I'm sharing with you is just kind of a general rule and it's not necessarily what exactly can or can't happen. Um, so I don't want uh, you to think that you know what I'm saying is the only way to keep these fish because there are circumstances where you can keep you know different fish and different size tanks and there's a lot of different factors that go into that your water quality your filtration um, you know how you care for your your pets etc so um, today I'm just going to kind of speak in general terms and we're going to focus on the 40s and the 55s so before we jump into the Lake Malawi fish I do want to talk real briefly about the fish from Lake Tanganyika Lake Tanganyika is another uh, rift lake in uh, East Africa where there are a lot of African cichlids. Also, there's Lake Victoria as well, but we're not going to talk too much about that today because those fish are not readily available. Even though they are in the hobby, it's not something that you're going to find in most local fish stores. But you will from time to time find fish from Lake Tanganyika. You'll find, um, obviously, uh, Cyprochromis. You'll find Brichardi. You'll find Shell Dwellers. Um, you can even find Frontosa from time to time. Um, I would say for a 40 or a 55 gallon tank, definitely not Frontosa unless they're small and juvenile and growing out because they do get big and they like to be in large numbers. Um, but you could do Cyprochromis, you could do Calvis, you could do Brichardii, you could do uh, obviously a ton of shell dwellers like I have here. Um, so there are a lot of different Tanganyikan fish that don't get as large that would do very well in a 40 or a 55 gallon aquarium. And when it comes to Lake Malawi, it's a little bit different because generally speaking, the fish from Lake Malawi are larger than the fish that you would normally find from Lake Tanganyika, excluding the Frontosa, etc. talking about those smaller cichlids. So when we're talking about the fish from Lake Malawi, usually we're talking about Mbuna, we're talking about Alanacara, also called peacocks, and Haplochromis are commonly referred to as haps. Now, let's just start off with haps. Haps do get very large. Most of the haps get large. They'll get 7 to 11 or 12 inches, depending on what kind of hap they are. Sometimes they will stay on the smaller side, like some of the electric blues that I have in this tank. Your Z-Rocks are also going to stay small. But typically speaking, haps don't do well in 40s or 55s unless they're small and they are growing out and the goal is to move them to a larger aquarium. And if you are going to do that, you should already have that larger aquarium. So if you have a grow out tank or if you're doing some breeding and you're putting fry in an aquarium, you're growing them out and then your plan is to move them to a larger aquarium that you already have established, then absolutely a 40 or a 55 will be just fine for peacock and haps not a problem whatsoever as those fish grow and once they become three to four inches then you can start to move them to some of the other tanks that you might have established already now if you are going to only have your 55 gallon aquarium or your 40 gallon breeder haps are not going to be a good choice um, although you could do some smaller haps peacocks are not necessarily a good choice either although you could do them if they're smaller I would say that for a 55 gallon aquarium Generally speaking, your Umbuna are going to be best just because they typically stay a little bit smaller and their swimming habits are different than the peacocks and the haps. The peacocks and the haps need more open space to swim back and forth and around because they are more uh, open water swimmers where the Umbuna are more focused on swimming in and out of rocks and caves and things like that. So a 55 gallon aquarium 
doesn't hinder them as much as far as swimming area because they will be swimming up and down and through rocks, etc., where your peacocks and haps will be kind of swimming back and forth in the open water. So the difference between a 55 gallon aquarium to some of the larger aquariums like a 75 or a 90 and 125s, etc., is the depth of the tank. Not the depth like how deep it is, but the depth as far as front to back. And because the 55 gallon aquarium is pretty narrow front to back, it doesn't allow fish to really swim around as well. It doesn't mean that they can't do it, it's just they can't do it as well because it's a very tight turning radius. So imagine if you are driving in a car and you need to make a U-turn and you're driving, let's say a larger truck. If you're driving a larger truck truck and you have to make a U-turn on a two-lane road, it's going to be very difficult unless it has some exceptional steering rack and a, you know a real aggressive uh, steering angle. You're probably going to have to do a two or a three-point turn to make that to make that uh, U-turn. Where if you were in a much smaller car, a compact car, front-wheel drive. Um, you're probably going to be able to make that turn a lot easier. And that's kind of the same thing with the peacocks and haps versus the imbuna. The imbuna are going to be able to make those turns a little bit better and they're kind of swimming up and down where the peacocks and haps are going to have more of a challenge as they swim around. And because they can be aggressive and because the water is open, they'll be chasing each other sometimes. And if the tank is narrow, it's a little bit more difficult for them to get away and to swim fast. So uh, I would, for the most part, say 55 is not great for peacocks and haps. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not saying it can't be done, but uh, generally speaking, I would stick with Mbuna. Now, with Mbuna, there are a lot of different options that you can have out there. Definitely do your research as far as aggression because you can have everything from as docile as an ACI to some really crazy zebras and and the Mason eyes, etc., that can be super aggressive. Erotis are super aggressive. I have some of those. Johannes can be aggressive. So um, just make sure that you pick the right species for you. And uh, don't just think about color, but think about compatibility and the tank that you have. Now, switching to 40 breeders, which are also readily available. Um, the 40 breeders are also tanks that you can get at the dollar per gallon sale. Um, I have a few of them downstairs. They're a great tank because they have a large surface area. So whereas the 55 gallon tank is narrow, the 40 breeder is actually much wider. It's much wider and it's a little bit shorter. So instead of it being 48 inches long, it's only 36 inches long. So it's narrower as far as length but it's wider as far as depth front to back. So there's a lot more swimming room in that tank. So for me, I actually do keep some peacocks in a 40 breeder. Now I don't keep a lot of them in a 40 breeder, but right now I've got, uh, I wanna say eight or nine of them downstairs in my um, fish room, um, adults in a 40 breeder. They're all females. I do keep a male separate in another aquarium. And then sometimes I'll put him in the 40 breeder to do some breeding or I'll move the females into his, his aquarium to do some breeding in there. But they do just fine because there is more surface area. They can swim around and get away. And uh, it does give them um, more swimming space. And Buna will also do very well in a 40 breeder. So that is something to uh, think about as far as when, you know, when you're selecting a tank, a 40 breeder versus a 55. A lot of times a 40 breeder might be better than the 55, even though it is technically 15 gallons less of water. So you know, definitely you're not gonna have as much water volume. So it will be more on the maintenance side because you have less you know, water to you know, handle uh, the amount of bio load and to uh, you know, distribute the uh, amount of uh, nitrates that you're gonna have in your aquarium. So you'll, it'll have to be well filtered. You'll have to do probably a little bit more water change and maintenance on a 40 breeder versus a 55, but you will have a little bit more swimming area in that versus the 55 because it does have that more surface area um, in the tank just by the way that it's built. As far as stocking, I'm not gonna talk about that here. I will put some links um, up here and at the end of the video or down below talking about um, some of the, uh, to show you some of the videos that I have made in regards to stocking. But I just wanted to make a short little video today to talk about what you might consider when putting a 40 or a 55 gallon tank together and what type of African cichlids might go well in those. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys uh, watching my channel. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. We'll catch you on the next one.